This woman just had a baby. She brought it home. She was all proud. She was a new parent. And one spring day, she decides to take the baby for a stroll. So she takes the baby, puts it in the carriage, and she starts pushing down the street. This couple walks by, and they look in the carriage. They say, oh, look, a baby. All of a sudden, they're like, oh, my God. What happened? That's the ugliest baby we've ever seen. Well, the woman's mortified, so she just pushes on her way, and she's going down the street. Now the guy walks by, looks into the carriage. Mother, a creature's great and small. What is that? That is the most hideous-looking baby I've ever seen. Well, at this, the woman's very upset. She's looked real down. She pushes her way into the park. She sits down on the park bench. She's got the baby in her arms, and she starts crying. Now, this vendor is a little bit behind her, and he sees her all upset, so he goes over to comfort her. Lady, what's the problem? And she, oh, it's terrible, it's terrible. And she's crying and crying and crying. So he says, lady, calm down. Here, why don't you let me get you a drink? Hey, and I'll even get you some peanuts for the monkey. How you doing guys hey I want to thank everybody who commented on my last video I was kind of down and your comments kind of helped pull me out of the slump but I want to thank every one of you anyways while I was a JW I always wondered if the Jehovah's Witnesses knew anything about the unwritten laws of the universe you know these things that we don't have to be taught they just kind of come naturally like the difference between males and females the unobvious things you take an example, a group of guys and girls, they go out to a bar, and they sit there and have a few drinks. Now they have different reactions to certain things. Now after about four or five beers, one of the guys gets up. Now he's got to go pee. But it's, it's more of a private thing with him. He'll get up and say, I'll be right back. Somebody asks him, where are you going? And he says, I'll be right back. And he goes off to the men's room, or well, the parking lot if he wants more privacy. With women, it's more of a social event. Same scenario. Girl gets up, and then one of the other girls goes, Mary, where are you going? I'm going to the ladies' room. I'll go with you. And all the girls at the table get up, and they follow Mary to the ladies' room. As they pass the tables, every woman in the place gets up, and they all follow Mary to the ladies' room. Always wonder what they all had to go for. I kind of figured that they're all complaining about the guys being jerks. Just once, I'd like to go out with a group of guys and say to one of them, Hey, Joe, I'm going to take a squirt. I'm there with you. But you know it's never, never going to happen. When about eight, nine years ago, when I was at JW, we had this one kind of creepy dude start going to our hall. Some of the guys knew him, and they kind of had the same initial feeling about him. He was really creepy. He was the type of person you would not take your kid and sit him on his lap. He'd come across like a demented Mr. Rogers. He kind of, even some of the elders were like, yeah, they knew him. And they would only go so far, they wouldn't say a whole, whole lot. Well, one day, it was in the midweek meeting. And uh, I had just polished off two bottles of water. It gets very dehydrating in the hall for some reason. And I said, mid, during the midway part of the meeting, I said, I've got to go to the men's room. So I made my way, going to the men's room. Now, there are certain rules, there's certain etiquette in the men's room that you never have to be taught. It's not like your father sits, down, sits you down one day and gives you these rules. It's something that you already know. Now, when you get in the men's room and you're standing in front of the urinal, you face forward. Always face forward. You don't do this. You don't do this. Especially if somebody's on either side of you. You definitely don't do this. That's just a rule. You just lock your eyes onto that wall. What you can do, if somebody walks in, you can give one of these. Give a quick look, but you immediately lock your eyes back on that wall. Well, while I was in there, door opens. Somebody comes in. I just, Oh my God, it was Brother Demento. 
man, you know, and I'm in my late 40s at this time, I can't pee as fast as I could when I was in my 20s. I'm like, hurry up, finish, finish. And I could feel the heat on the back of my neck. The guy was getting closer, and he was getting closer, and he was getting closer. He got close enough and walked by. He did the unthinkable as I'm standing there. He walks by me, and I get a slap on the back of my shoulder. I could not let this go unaddressed. Now, he's over at the sink washing his hands. I walked up, and he says, Yes, brother, what is it? There's certain rules that you always acknowledge in the men's room. And he says, what is that, brother? When somebody's in the men's room with their Johnson in their hands, you don't touch that person. Well, he gave me this confused look. Apparently, Jehovah's Witnesses don't have this. They, they just don't comprehend it. But then again, I figured that somewhere, sooner down the line, this is where they're going to be setting up their cots next. So, who knows? Take the last vestige of privacy away from people. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much all I had today. I just wanted to touch base with you and leave your comments below. Anyways, I want to thank my subscribers, and I hope to see you again real soon. You guys have a good day. I will talk to you soon.